And now it's time for Bum Reviews with Chester A. Bum. Tonight's review... Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. What the hell was that? I mean, there's drugs and then there's... this? I mean, man, this was friggin' weird! Oh, by the way, uh, spoilers is the greatest movie I've ever seen in my life. Anyway, weird! There's this boy who's played by that boy who's gonna play a boy for the rest of his life. And he falls in love with a girl named Knives. I'm guessing they called her that because it was a hard birth. And she's like, Oh my god, you're awesome! Oh my god, you're incredible! Oh my god, you're like a god! You're god! You're god! Oh my god, you're god! You're god! 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 And the boy is like, eh, This sucks. I have a hot girlfriend who's totally crazy about me. Life is hell! But then he meets another girl whose hair keeps changing color like a mood ring. And he's like, Oh my god, this chick's a total bitch and she wants nothing to do with me. I want her. So the girl is like, If you want to be my boyfriend, you have to defeat my seven evil exes! Okay, wait, what? My seven evil exes! Okay, wait, what? Seven! Uh-huh. Evil! Uh-huh. Exes! Okay, wait, what? And at first I'm like, well, This is weird. Uh, maybe this is just how he sees the world. But it's like, No! They all live in a world of sound effects and anime and video game references. Oh, well, maybe it's all a dream. Not a dream. Dreams are sensible compared to this. So then I'm like, maybe... They're all blissed on drugs. Nope. Trust me, I would know what that looks like. This is just sort of the world they live in. It doesn't make sense, but hot chicks are in it, so it flies. So anyway, the boy is like, I have to fight seven evil exes for you? Mm-hmm. Oh, God, you're so bitchy and hate everything in the world so much, you're totally worth it. I bet my big boobs help, too. And your too. big boobs help, too. Oh, also, Macaulay Culkin's brother is in it, and he's gay. About it. So the boy fights all the seven evil exes. One's a dance star. Woo! One's a movie star. One's a vegan. Yeah. One's a really hot southern chick. And I'm like, please show a flashback. Please show a flashback. And the rest are in there too. Finally, he gets to the major bad ex. And he's like, I put a microchip in your girlfriend, so now she will only obey me. Really? Yes. Can I have one of those? Uh, no. <clears throat> so Knives comes in to fight alongside the boy. And she's like, even though you were a jerk, I'm still going to fight alongside you. Why? Fight! So the boy defeats the number one evil act. Knife saves his life about a bajillion times. And she's like, Hey, we make a good team. You want to go back out with me? Nope. Why not? It's the Twilight Complex. I have to go out with the person who's the absolute worst for me. And that will be me. Why do I even bother? I don't know. The end! So as you can see, this movie was weird. You ever go to an anime con? Just imagine a whole movie like that. It's like if you got a person drunk, gave him a bunch of drugs, spun him around, and then sent him off to an anime con, this is what he would see! And by God, that does not sound like a bad idea. To the liquor store! All that's missing is a bunch of bright flashes to give you a seizure! This is just a read boom saying, Change! You got change! Oh, come on, help a guy out, will ya? Come on, change! Well, at least give me some money to help that boy grow up! He's been halfway through puberty 20 years now!